All right, hi, this is for Isabel's piano practice for Linen Bridge. This is our second video. The first one had the right hand, hand positions. This one is gonna be on how to put the rhythms together. So we're gonna practice tapping. You can close your piano, tap on your piano, tap on your lap, but you're gonna wanna tap your left hand separate than your right hand, okay? Um, your left hand's just gonna do straight quarter notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and you can keep your left hand going and eventually you're going to add the right hand on top of it. You can try tapping with me, you can try tapping with a metronome and then the right hand is going to add a dotted rhythm on top of the left hand. One and two and three and four and one and two That's just the first measure that we're tapping. If it's too much to do hands together, try the right hand by itself. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, tap with me. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. That's gonna be the most challenging measure to line up with the dots, okay? We can also try tapping the whole uh, first line together. Ready? One, two, tap, down. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. Okay, now if I play it, you should probably start with just the right hand, but I'm gonna put both hands together here, okay? One and two and ready, play. Notice the left hand is going to play two full beats before the right hand changes notes and then the right hand will play in between the second and third left hand note. One, two, let's try it again. Go! Okay, and then we have to go to the five chord and we have to move our right hand position. Okay, so that would be the rhythm practice I would work on. I would work on getting that rhythm good uh, five times in a row. That's going to be a big challenge. So if you haven't gotten that far, stop the video and just keep working on that. Okay, uh, if you're good on the rhythm, then let's play the right hand in its entirety. We're going to play the whole song just right hand. One, two, ready, go. One, two. Now we go to our new D position. Back to the first position. Back to C position. So refer to those positions we talked about earlier so we know where to move your hands during the song. You'll also notice that the first two measures are the exact same as measure five and six. So practice that with just the right hand. Get that good three to five times good with just the right hand. The left hand is everything you've already done before. So it's the one chord and the five chord. But we can do a play along video to play the left hand together, just left hand. The left hand's on middle C. Ready? One, two, ready, go. One chord. Get ready for five chords. And so hands separate is going to be our goal, but let's end with a recording of hands together just for fun. You can listen to this. One, two, ready, go. So hands together is going to be very challenging. There's a lot of moves to think about. A lot of the, the what we call syncopated rhythm where it doesn't line up exact is going to be challenging. So work on these in little spots 
and don't expect yourself to get hands together right away. But listening to the hands together recording will be helpful. So hopefully this video was helpful and you have a great week. Bye.